Hey, good afternoon, folks. Well, we're basically at the hurrying up and wait stage. Uh, done with the conversion itself. The last procedure we did We touched on that where we had to cut that plate out for that double reduction blower. Uh, okay. We had to. Problem is, see where that says top on that. On these 671s, they sit on their side to hang on the side of that motor. Uh, so you got oil ports here where, you know, splash will get in there and then come through the bearing to lubricate the ball bearings in the front there. So what I do, I plug the bottom holes, tap them out, plug them. Uh, I can reuse this hole. I'll kind of go in there with a die grinder and kind of carve out a gutter so oil will flow down in there. And then we drill a second hole. Uh, right there and then like I said I kind of gutter that out so oil will come in. There's a lot of splash in there but um, those gears do kind of cover that up so Detroit put them in there for a reason so we, we put them in back in there. Um, I, I, I've never even I've watched a lot of videos on that and kind of tried to study up on it. I've never seen that mansion. You know maybe it's not necessary but we did that on the Galaxy On a lubrication issue, when in doubt, we're going to give it more. That's my theory. And down here, here's more plugs we had to put in. Uh, drill, or uh, we didn't have to drill that, we just tap it. 3 8 uh, pipe thread. And these, these need to be recessed slightly. Uh, otherwise, you'll have oil. You'd have oil coming. Coming back. That's how the oil would drain back in those uh, 671 engines. And then on the back cover, what we do on it, I uh, did the same thing, just put these little plugs in. Drill tap plug, and then uh, these bearings get packed in grease, just like wheel bearing grease. Put your bearing in. And then I'm going to order some covers from DPI to put on there. I believe it's going to be these. Well, we just may let, let all this show. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I don't know. In case anybody's wondering, Got our plywood here. Yeah, that's a what that is is a simplex concrete form, about an inch and eight thick. And we ran into this on the Galaxy. I'm assuming we're going to run into it uh, here on this 351 Windsor. What the deal is, you and this partly do this Speedmaster intake we're ordering. Of course, it says you, know, you got your distributor in the front and it clears the distributor like right here but the, the intake's not tall enough to get over the top of it so I need that inch and eighth uh, to get uh, the bottom part of that blower which would be like right here it'd be sitting on top of your distributor and we cut that out cut that out this morning then when we get done all this gets laminated with like we mix up JB weld and then just laminate all that so you can't see any wood kind of helps seal everything up then we'll laminate all the way around the outside and what these little guys are here I call them my crush pins what we do you know being this is wood um, We'll have one gasket here. I don't know. I can order a gasket for that. Or I can make one. But anyhow, with the wood thickness 
and with your gasket we'll make these little pins all that is is a 7 16 bolt and then we'll we'll just keep shaving on them things where you get them down to basically what I want when I get done uh, I want about a five thousandths of an inch crush in other words with our gasket thickness plywood thickness uh, it's five thousandths shy of crushing here to your bore point right here and these bolts don't torque down very tight they uh, will torque them down to probably ten uh, pounds. I think BDS says torque them to 12. I torque them to 10. Um, on the Detroit, they torque to 55 pounds. But I think what you run into on these on these blowers, if you're not careful, you know, you got these aluminum intakes. I don't think you can torque them down big time because it'll distort. It, it, if you distort this just a few thousands of an inch, you're going to be hitting your rotors. It's super snug in there. You know, it's. When I put this thing back together, I might make another video. And we actually check that, like with notebook paper. You know, notebook paper is about three and a half thousand, so we'll just take a sheet of that, just a thin slice of it, go down in there to check that tolerance. Yeah, we're we're waiting on seals. Hurry up and wait. And there's that. That's that same. A lot of people don't even see that. They miss that. That's just another piece of that form ply. There's where we laminated it with the JB weld. It just kind of blends in with everything else. Most people don't even notice it. But there's the issue right there. Uh, without that inch and eighth, we'd be this part would be sitting right on top of that. Distributor. So, part of the game. That's just part of it. This is going a lot better than I thought so far. So far, so good. Because we're doing it for the second time. You know, that first time, I know a couple years ago when we did the galaxy there was a lot of unknowns and how are we gonna figure this out and that out we've kind of done a lot of that already so always helps if you've done it before and I'm, I'm seriously thinking about going with three I'm thinking about going with three Two barrel carburetors on this one. If I if I can do that, uh, and reusing these this old bearing plate here, we're gonna cut about a thousand dollars off that project. Uh, I think two of those Edelbrocks are seven hundred fifty bucks. So, and I've got I got two of these now. I can pick up the third one pretty pretty easy from my buddy. And put re just rebuild kits in those. And if it works, I don't know. I don't know. It'd be different. I'll have to make make another little plenum up here, but I guess we can do that. Well, that's where we're at. I wish I had my seals. I'd put this thing back together. But we'll catch you later, folks.